Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox we're playing some Illumian Legacy as you can see on the screen right now. So then, also the title might confuse people, but basically, what happens if I told you you could get these secret rally moves on your older Lumians? It's just that the title I didn't really exactly know how to word it, so if you're confused, that's basically what we're doing. So for example, on my Zulong, I guess Zulong isn't really the, the best um, <laughs> thing to use as an example, but basically, also, my Zulong, I've had this one since the very beginning of the game. It's the one that I actually use for PvP. Once I've told you, also, it hasn't got any of the secret moves. It hasn't got Primal Slash, it hasn't got Thunder and Chili Chomp, which also, these Weevolts do, but also these are new Weevolts. So these are like, these three are the new uh, secret rally moves it can get. Once I've told you, I could get all of those three moves on this already currently, like, current existing Zulong. Obviously, I you can get them on new stuff but if you have some like older secret ability stuff like for example in this video i'm probably going to use my avatross as a good example also i've had this one for quite a while I've, i use it a little bit um also the tp is a garbage you gotta completely redo it which hey now we can because also we have um the f five new trainers which are easier now but basically i can go ahead and get secret rally moves on this thing and like I said, it's already existing. Now, we are going to be using the rally guy, but we're not going to rally for more Lumion. So basically, what you want to do also is if you want one of these secret moves, you got to go to the um, the move deleter, which actually I need to go back there now because I actually just realized there's another move that I want. So really quickly, I'm going to go to the Battle Coliseum and I'm going to go and uh, trade. Uh, well, not really trade. I'm going to go talk to one of the NPCs and have him delete one of my moves. So, obviously, I just got rid of Ghost. I usually run Ghost on it to get rid of Barbs, obviously. But um, for this new specific set that I want to run, I'm also going to go over here. I'm going to delete a Nuller move because also we don't really need Dodge on this set. Even though the secret ability, having Dodge is very nice. And I mean very nice. But I feel like for this new set that I want to run, I want to get actually rid of dodge. And I can get dodge whenever I want, obviously. And I can get gust whenever I want back by just talking to the, the chicken red. So also talk to the, the guy in green if you want to uh, get rid of moves. And also the, the red one um, will also give you more moves that you might have just deleted. So there's that. So basically, now we can go back to the adventure mode. So also now we have two three slots. There's two rally moves I want on this Ava Trust. And like I said... I'm not going to rally for more, but in this situation, I kind of have to. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. So, basically, you want to talk to this guy, and obviously, you can put them in like this, okay? So, if I put Ikazuna in, if you don't know, Ikazuna is the only Lumion in the game with Thunder Crash. Although, Avatross can actually learn Thunder Crash, Thunder Crash now through Ikazuna. So, obviously, I actually already did it. I already got um, a Twittle with Thunder Crash, as you can see. But, honestly, what if I told you, try putting them in backwards. Obviously, for this, this is probably like a horrible example, because obviously in this situation, you can't put a Kazune back in, so that's why I had to go and breed one. So, honestly, even though, even though this isn't an Kazune, because it still has Thunder Crash, it will still work. So, honestly, if I get any more Twittles now, it'll still have Thunder Crash. As long as one of these two have the secret relic moves that your offspring want, will want, it will pass it down, even if it isn't the original one. So, for example, I put them in like this. Put them in backwards. Obviously, and then also I just gotta go run around a little bit. Just gotta go run around. I run around. Actually, I guess it would be better to use another one. But we can basically run around for two minutes, or like a minute. I'll. It usually won't take you as long. Like, I could probably check now and it might be done. Um, I can go check this. Hasn't got it yet. So, basically, you just wanna keep running around. So, I guess I'll just wait. I guess like a minute. Obviously, if you don't know, I used to use arrow keys. It's probably the easier way to um to rally because you just run in circles. So you don't really have to worry about anything. Just that worry that if you do AFK like this, sometimes you will end up in the grass for some reason. I don't exactly know why. <laughs> I guess because you run up and downhill, it moves you a little bit. Okay, let's go check now. So basically, you want to keep running around, and eventually, as you can see, our Avatross now learned Thunder Crash, and obviously. We didn't have to try and... We, we, now we don't have to go for another secret ability to Avatross because I already have one. Although this one kind of sucks. I wish it was like minus range attack, so I eventually will probably go for another one. That's a little bit better, but hey, now I have Thunder Crash. I was actually kind of hoping that... I'm glad it didn't patch on per, per, Peck or something, because that's good. But now, I can do that exact same thing, because now there's another move, Sharpen, that I want. So I'm going to do this thing exactly... Exact things the exact same way again. And now I'm going to go... 
I'm going to get Sharpen. So on my new Wave Vitross, I want to have Sharpen, also to boost this attack. I got Thunder Crash, Nose Dive, but also both of them have re a lot, quite a lot of recoil damage. So also I'm going to run Slot Perch on it, which also does mean I'm not going to have Dodge, which kind of sucks. But I do have um, the Rev Up, which also is going to give me speed every turn. So yeah, but also I feel like some people might want Dodge still on their uh, Avatross just for the fact that uh, oh, actually, that one was super quick. Nice. But I feel like some people might want dodge on it also to guarantee that you're getting that, um, that more speed. But it's already really quick already. It's going to outspeed a lot of things. So also just, uh, I guess, using your first turn to sharpen, then you're going to outspeed everything basically in the game. And then also you can then start nuking things basically, which is really, really nice. So that is exact exactly what I want to show off basically. Like, hey... Like I said, the title might be a bit weird and it might confuse people, but basically, you don't need to go for new stuff. Like, for example, if I you already have secret ability stuff, at like, for example, my Avatross, obviously I don't really want to go for a new one, at least not yet, I'm, I'm too lazy. I want to go for all the, some of the new stuff, but basically now, I can go and get some good stuff on the, on my Avatross. So, I obviously, I want my Thunder Crush and Sharpen. Obviously, most people would probably try and go for a new Avatross, but yeah, this Avatross set, I'm going to try it a little bit and see exactly how it goes. I need to rework the TPs, though. they really suck. <laughs> they really suck. But another one, I guess, um, do I actually have anything? Um, actually, I guess another good one would be, like, um, Obsidigon. Like, some people already have the secret ability one. Obviously, they don't want to go for another one. So what you can actually do, go back, delete, I guess, like, scapegoat and sharpen. You can relearn those back easily. And then... Uh, Put it in with Sedimaz, which has Earthquake. Obviously, just do it back in that way. So, for example, most quickly take these two out. Um, is there another one? I guess you can get Mega Chomp as well. Which one has Mega Chomp? I don't think I have any with Mega Chomp. Oh, no, actually, no, it's Kleptike is the only Lumion that has Mega Chomp in the game. You have to get to 26 and not evolve it. So, I can take this bad boy. And obviously, if also, I can't do it right now because obviously, I don't have those. I haven't deleted moves, but basically, what you would usually do is you'd put Obsidian in here, and then you'd keep rallying until the Offspring had Earthquake on it. Well, if you put them in the backwards way, also, like I said, make sure you delete a couple of moves. There needs to be room. If there's no room on your Obsidian, it's not going to learn it, obviously. So you have to go and delete one of them. If I put it in this way, run around for a minute, my Obsidian will land have Earthquake. Then, obviously, if I do the exact same thing, but with Mega Chomp, then I can learn Mega Chomp. I don't exactly know if you want Earthquake or Mega Chomp. Also, I guess you want Earthquake if you want to, like, I guess... Actually, I feel like you probably don't want Earthquake. Like, Earthquake's good, but what would you really use it on? I guess Metal. So, I, I I guess Metal would be, like, your your best option. So, I, I guess Earthquake would be the better option. But you can learn Mega Chomp, I guess, for Light type. So, depends on what set you might want to run. So, I guess what people might run on this one now, I have, like, Primal Slash and Earthquake, and then Sharpen B Slumber. Uh, Sharpen's also going to be pretty good, so I'm going to, like, I'm still going to breed for a new Obsidian because I want to try a new set. I want to max out its speed and its attack and, like, try and, like, get get a sweep with it, um, with the new set, but it's going to be interesting, I guess, on what you can do. So, like I said, we're still technically using the Rally Guy, but we aren't rallying new Lumions. You can, you can get all these new secret moves on already old existing Lumions, which I think is also a really good idea. So, hey, there's that. Um, what went here? You went there. So, yeah, but that's basically it. Uh, I'm going to leave it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was helpful. If, it, if you have any questions, I guess, then let me know in the comments down below. But obviously... Um, I don't really see too many people doing this unless they're just too lazy and they don't want to go for like a secret ability, but this I'm probably not really going to use too much unless obviously I already have the secret ability. So for example, my Avatross is already a secret ability. I don't really need to go for another one because I already have one and I can just use that trick to get the, the, the two moves I want on it. Another example I guess is Erupt Eruptodon. Also, this is secret ability as well. I'd probably get rid of Mud Spatter and slap on the Earthquake on it. It does get Earthquake. Um, also, I'm not allowed exactly to make a video yet talking about all of the secret moves, so I should be able to make one of those this Friday. So this Friday, I'll make a video going through all of the rally moves um, and what anything can learn. I guess another good one is what I might have, I guess, is... Do I even have any more secret ability stuff? 
I don't exactly. I mean, I have the Ragoon, but I don't know if the Ragoon actually gets anything that I'd want. I don't know if people people have. I don't know if people have actually have tested Ragoon. Let me have a quick look if there's any moves that um I have. I'll, let me have a look at the rally moves that Ragoon actually can learn. Um, chase. It can get chase, I guess. I, I mean, not, I guess um chase down and spare. I was trying to say spare. I said chase, but yeah, I guess chase down. And I can get spare, so if you're going to go, like, hunting for secret builds in the wild, you can go do it, I guess. But I feel like the rallying is probably now the best way to um to get to get them, so I don't know if it's really that great. But chase down, I could guess, could be pretty good on the Ragoon. Um, but, yeah, but mostly, I don't, like I said, I don't really see too many people using this, um, this specific mechanic for most of their stuff, just for the fact that... They're probably just going to use them on their secret ability stuff, rather than going for new stuff. Is I guess the best way to do it. So that is what I'm gonna leave off on. Okay, I think the videos <laughs> I've explained everything what I need to explain. Like I said, if you have any like questions, let me know in the comments down below. But I I would still like go for like a lot of secret abilities. Like if you know what they are and you think that the secret ability is better, for example, Zulong's normal ability lets it hit for like forty percent extra damage. Well, I guess it's technically like what fifteen percent extra damage. So. Obviously, if you don't know, stab moves, same type, of, same type attack bonus moves, will uh, hit for 25% more. So, also, if Zulong wasn't an ancient type, it would, it would only hit for, like, 80 power. Because it is an ancient type, it will hit for 80 plus 25% of that power, basically. So, also, that gets an extra 15% with the Awakening ability. Yes, it did get nerfed this update, but with the um, with Weavolts, Secret ability, brute force. It actually increases them to twenty percent. So it's it's not that much more increased from the normal ability, but it can hit for five percent more damage. So it's not a huge increase, but also you have to keep in mind that secondary effects like this blaze trump can has the potential to flinch or leave some some stuff with burns. Though it can no longer flinch or burn things. That's the basically what it does. Like it will get rid of secondary effects of your moves and it'll increase a little bit more damage so it is a it increases moves i guess 20 percent whereas only your awakening ability is only for stab so obviously for like i guess a, a better example i guess would be for um luminami as it can get um icicle ice icy winds also if luminami had brute force icy wind would hit a little bit harder but also it doesn't it has Power napping, which is kind of like a generator. If you swap it out, you get a little bit more health back on it. So it's pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to leave it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try and answer as many as I can.